Did you get discouraged? Did we lose you from the Trump train? If you're still on board, then give us a Trump 2024 down in the comments below. I'm Doug in exile. Watch this. Poly market, which is a betting market, has Trump 55 to 45 versus Kamala. Kalshi, another betting market, 52 48 Trump. Bovada and points bet, those are offshore booking, and poly market is also offshore. 5248 Trump. So these aren't advocates. These are people offshore. They're in other countries and they're putting their bets down. When they have to bet who's going to win when you put your money down, they bet Trump will beat Kamala Harris. Period. That's all you need to know. When money's on the line, when it's not about lying or or pushing or your preferred agenda, you look at it like science. When your money's on the right line, you go, Trump's going to win. Now here's a thing on Jamie Raskin. This is uh, Stephen Newcomb on X. Scoop. This is the scoop via Andrew Solander. Solander. Top House Democrats refuse to commit to certifying the 2024 Trump win. Remember that when they go after Jamie uh, J.D. Vance and say, will you certify the Trump win? Will you support the Trump win? No, Democrats are not going to do it. If Trump wins, they're going to say no, no. Dip, a different board of electors that are going to call them fake electors. They're going to say different electoral, different electoral count different everything we reject they're going to deny the election they will not be called election deniers now by the media the media they'll be called this is of everyone's free speech right to not have to comply you know to not have the same opinion they'll change they'll completely change their narrative and, and we will have called them out so the dems are going to refuse to certify the 2024 win raskin says they will certify quote only free, fair, and honest election, unquote, mirrors the GOP rhetoric. So I'm only saying, look, guys, don't go after J.D. Vance for what you guys did. We've, that's all we've been saying all along. They're the same as Hillary, Stacey Abrams. They've been doing this since 2000 with Bush v. Gore. This is normal. If YouTube removes channels for, quote, election denial, they'd have to remove every single Democrat when they uh, say that this is okay, and I'm talking about Midas Touch and the Pac-Man show and MSNBC, they're all going to promote this. They're all going to go, well, we can't certify this election, you know, Trump won, and we have to go and do our due diligence beforehand. Just remember, they were lying when they said that Trump tried to overturn an election. They're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, this is what uh, both sides have done. You question the results. You have your questions. You're allowed to have questions. It's your First Amendment right. You're at least allowed to think it. NPR, PBS, Maris Poll has Pamela with a two-point lead. So sport books and betting markets are favoring Trump slightly while the polls are slightly favoring Kamala. Well, the polls are slightly favoring Kamala because they're all run by Democrats. Number one, more of them are flat out run by Democrats. So they're advocating for her. These are not the internal polls. The internal polls that the campaigns actually use to decide where they spend their campaign money, which are all private, that information's getting leaked out. Watch this. They all know Kamala Harris is losing. Re recitation of the polls there kind of mixes up a couple of things. There's popular vote polls, and then there's yep. Electoral College, which goes state sure. by state. If you look at pretty much now all the main pollsters, you look at Tony Fabrizio, you look at Real Clear Politics, they're now showing that Trump is winning the Electoral College right now. He is up in almost every swing state, including, I think, Michigan, which is pretty surprising. Ooh, if he's ahead in Michigan, this election's over. But I don't want you to think it's over. I want you to keep fighting. Are you fighting? Give us a thumbs up if you're still fighting. That's how we'll know that America's beating heart is still going. Let me know with your thumbs up. Click. Clearly, there's been a huge swing towards Trump over the last week or two. And look, there's still 25 days to go, so anything can happen. I don't want to overstate this, but yeah, this is a good example right here showing the that Trump I think now the has a lead in every swing. Electoral College is, is 296 to 242. Trump is smashing Kamala Harris in the Electoral College. And guess what? That's why the Democrats want to get rid of the Electoral College, because Trump is winning. <laughs> Super important to remember that. They only want to change the rules and cheat because they know what that Trump is winning the Electoral College. Well, another guy who I think is more neutral is Mark Halperin, who is a pundit who has been very accurate this election cycle. Remember, he's the one who broke the scoop that Biden would be replaced by Harris. And he even said exactly when it would happen. 
and uh, he predicted it down to the day. So this is uh, Mark Halpern. We did a video on him already. So he is a he is not a pro Trump, pro Kamala, anything. He just wants the truth. Listen to what he says about the internal polling. He was exactly right about that. And if you follow his account, he is now saying that both Republican and Democrat insiders that he talks to are both saying the same thing, which is their internals are now showing Trump ahead in every swing state or almost every swing state. And uh, things seem to be breaking Trump's way right now. Kamala Harris is smoked. That's by the guy who knew that Biden was not going to run even while Biden said, I'm staying in the election, this guy, Mark Halperin, said, look, guys, my internals are saying that they're going to get rid of Biden. And all the media was saying, isn't he sharp as attack? Isn't he amazing? Da, da, da. Mark Halperin called it down to the day, the day that they would get rid of Biden and he would drop out. He called it before anybody else. And now he's calling it. He's not pro-Trump. He's not trying to just gaslight you and try and win an election. He said that the internal polls show Kamala Harris is getting smoked by Trump, especially in the Electoral College, that Trump is currently ahead and winning hardcore. If you're wondering why is Harris all of a sudden doing interviews, it's because their internal started showing that she was in trouble. So they decided to get her uh -huh. out more. It's, it's what I predicted a couple of months ago. It's the doom loop. So what I said two months ago is that if Harris gets behind, she's going to have to abandon this sort of basement strategy of not doing interviews. She's going to have to start doing interviews. She had to start doing interviews. That's what he said back in August. Okay, she has to do interviews. She did some interviews. It hurt more. That's the doom loop is when you keep crushing down your numbers because you, you're forced to. She has to go out in public and talk, guys. She's running for president. And everything she says is stupid, so her numbers are going to get worse. The problem is she's not good at interviews. And if she does uh more interviews, she's going to fall further behind in the polls, and it could cause a doom loop. Hmm. So that's where we appear to be right now. I said that on August 30th. August 30th is coming true now, and it's we're in October. Doom loop, crushing her down. Her numbers will go down farther, and Trump should go up higher. That's our personal prediction. That's where it looks like the momentum is going, is that Trump has not hit his ceiling just yet from this new numbers, and Kamala has not yet hit her floor. Let's wait and see where, the, where it all shakes out. Here's interactive polls, national polls, Trump is up 48%. Harris is at 48% down one. Trump's up four. Harris down one, and they're both tied at 48. That's where the, I mean by the momentum is going, sending shockwaves through NBC News. Let's take a look at triage over at MSNBC. The big headline, this is a national head-to-head -head poll, is that Vice President Kamala Harris had a five-point lead in our last poll taken a month ago, right after the debate. That lead has all but evaporated, Willie. Take a look at this new head-to-head -head matchup. 48% to 48%. That is what we call a deadlocked race. That is what we call... A dead vice presidential campaign of Harris. That's what we call it. Dead on arrival. Underscores what we all know, that this is tight, that the country is sharply divided. One of the other big headlines here, people are viewing the Trump presidency more favorably than the Biden presidency. Why is that significant? It's significant. Why is the country sharply divided? It's sharply divided by informed people called Republicans who do not believe everything that the media tells them and the rest of people who are dumb sucker sheep. That's the division in America. We've seen the vice president get pressed repeatedly on what she would do differently than President Biden. And she's really struggled with that answer. Struggled. She didn't struggle with the answer. She gave the easy answer. She gave an answer right off the top of her head. She told the truth. There's no, um, there's no difference between me and Biden. Now, MSNBC didn't like the answer. And it made her lose votes. But that doesn't mean that she struggled. She didn't struggle with it. There's a black man going, uh, why can Kamala pick a white husband? Kamala chose a white husband. She chose a white husband. Why can't black men choose a white president? Why can't black men choose a white president? Good question, my brother. That was posted by actor Randy Quaid. I'm Doug. In exile, we're winning.